Hello lovely people, welcome to my channel, Unnamed Astrology. I'm that Taurus showing you how to calculate the sun moon midpoint in a chart. Since most free charts don't have the option of calculating it for you, I'm going to show you my quick easy method so that you can study love and relationships like you want to. Okay, so first we're going to break the zodiac down into 360 degrees. And how we're going to do that is we're just going to put down Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and then the degrees they start with next to it. So Aries would be from 0 degrees to 29 degrees, Taurus would be 30 degrees to 59 degrees, and so on and so forth. So just go ahead and pause your video right here. This table is going to help you a lot as we go through our calculations with it. So just go ahead and jot this down and then when you're ready, press play and we will continue. Okay, so I hope that was enough time. We are going to continue on. So, for example, I'm going to be using 28 degrees uh, Scorpio. And then we're going to be also using 26 degrees Gemini for the moon. How about that? Okay, so there's that. So then over here in Scorpio, you see 210. So we're going to add 210 to the 28 and get 238. We're going to add... Uh, Gemini 60 so we're gonna add 60 to that we get 86 and we're gonna add these two numbers together all right so now that they're converted into our 360 degrees we get our 324 now that is not our final number we have to cut that in half because that is just our average number even though it does fit within the 360 degrees so what we really want is 162. Um, so now we can go ahead and convert it back to our normal degrees. So what's closest to 162 over here? That would be 150 degrees and Virgo. So then we just take out 150 degrees, leaves us 12 degrees Virgo as our midpoint. Voila. Okay, let me do another example for you. 26 degrees Pisces for the sun. And then let's just do 17 degrees Cancer. There we go. Okay. So we've got Pisces over here at 330. Add those together and we get 356. And then Cancer is over here at 90. Add those together and you get 107. So add those two nice large numbers together and as you can see it's not going to be the same problem as last time where it can actually fit in there it's a little bit more because i end up with 463 divide that by two and we're going to get 231.5 now we don't have the 0.5 in degrees so i'll show you what to do with that in a second but what's closest to 231 on here that would be Scorpio at 210, so minus the 210 is going to give us 21.5 or 21 degrees and 30 minutes in uh, Scorpio. So um, minutes go up to 60 also, so that's where the half went. So there you go. This method can be used for any two planets to further your study with any midpoints. But once you get your sun moon midpoint, you can use that for important relationships in love and just normal relationships in general, like friendships and even family members. Um, you might notice that there's a pattern where they, um, their planets interact a lot with your midpoint. So it's always fun to look at. But anyways, I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in my next videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.